message from the family. 1480 WHBC presents the high school football TV game of the week. The Elk Care TV game of the week is brought to you by Sarda, Northern Ohio Honda Dealers, Spectrum Orthopedics, Old Carolina Barbecue, MCTV, Friends and Family Credit Union, Altman Hospital, Sarshone Ford, Omni Orthopedics, CSC Federal Credit Union, and AltCare, and can be seen locally on This TV Canton. A sunny, cool night in Alliance as we bring you week four of high school football in the COVID world. John Bozica along with you tonight on our AltCare TV replay game of the week. As we have a good one tonight, we have the Alliance Aviators at 0-3 playing host to the 3-0 Canton South Wildcats. As always, I'm joined in the booth tonight by my partner in Elmer Sheets. And uh, Elmer, this figures to be a good ball game tonight. Well, I'll tell you what, on paper, John, it shouldn't be. One team's 3-0 and the other team's 0-3. But I agree with you, I think it's going to be a close football game. Uh, the reasons why... Both coaches came from Northwest. Uh, Seth played for his dad up there, and Coach Reed coached for uh, Vic up there. Offensively, they're very similar. They're multiple formations. Defensively, they got they got a little tricky there on me. They says one's a 50 and the other one's a 30. And if you know anything about defense, that means they get, they're running a 50 with a nose guard. So uh, they're very similar, and the kicking game is very similar. Uh, the game will be won. Uh, whatever team makes the fewest mistake. Talking to the coach from Alliance, one of the key things going into this game was injuries and making and allowing teams to have big plays on them. And for South, the big thing that they have to do, they got to believe that they're 4-0 and they have a chance for their, the, the league championship. So uh, I'm looking for a very, very close game. And uh, one of the things I want to say, I want to uh, congratulate uh, Trent Shavers for being player of the week last week in the All-Star County football players. That was a great honor. I, his, his dad was a great football player, but this kid is a great one also. One of many that we will see tonight, Trent Shavers for the Canton South Wildcats. We look forward to Elmer's comments all night from the booth with myself, and we will be back with you for the kickoff from Mount Union Stadium between Alliance and Canton South right after this. At AltCare, you matter. When we answer your call or meet with you in person, you are the top priority. We work with your physician, pharmacy, and over 7,300 other providers. We want to be your trusted resource. We invest in collaboration, our youth, and our community, which we will continue to serve with gratitude. Commitment and community were the reasons we started over 30 years ago. And why we are still here today. AltCare, where you matter. We're proud of our city, our teams, our community, and we are extremely proud to sell Hondas, some of the safest, most affordable cars in the industry built in the great state of Ohio. Enjoy great deals on the Honda CRV at your local Northern Ohio Honda dealer. Stay connected to what matters most in life with MCTV Internet. We deliver fast, reliable service, so you can spend more time streaming your favorite shows, chatting with family or friends, or racing past the competition. Plus, with MCTV's Wi-Fi, you receive strong signals from anywhere in your home. Upgrade your internet today. Give us a call or visit us online. MCTV, we go the extra smile. Welcome back to the court, this trail, and that field. Welcome back to your mat, the course, and coming back like you never left. Trust the area's leader in orthopedic care, Spectrum Orthopedics. We'll get you moving again and maybe even better than before. You have one life to live. Let's get you back to living it. We're proud of our city, our teams, our community, and we are extremely proud to sell Hondas, some of the safest, most affordable cars in the industry built in the great state of Ohio. Enjoy great deals on the Honda Accord at your local Northern Ohio Honda dealer. 
And we welcome you back to the Alt Care TV replay game of the week as we uh, talk to you tonight from Alliance High School, Mountain Union Stadium. Promises to be a good ball game tonight between South and Alliance. Exciting to say the least. John Bozica, Elmer Sheets along with you. And uh, Elmer, this is a game that, uh, quite frankly, I think at the start of the year, a lot of people wondered where this would be on the overall um, you know, discussion of everything this year. And to have this game like it is now, I think that's uh, rather exciting. Well, uh, again, we're, you know, we're, we're looking at the records. One's 3-0 and one's 0-3. And, and um, it should be an exciting game. Like, as I, I tried to draw the comparison that both of these teams are very similar. They both have, they both have good skill people. And uh, it's that can Alliance go without making the big mistake and giving up the big play? And can San Canton South believe in themselves be, to go 4-0? It's it's going to be a good a question. It's it. going to it's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, because I I wonder if they're ready for a game like this. I really do. Well, as you mentioned, if, if you look their their opponents, uh, Canton South's opponents only have one win in uh, the nine games. So, kickoff brought to you by Spectrum Orthopedics dropped on the return and man brings it up on the near sideline has some running room. And a pretty decent return here. On the return was Ovi Jones. Ovi Jones on the return there. Offense brought to you by Northern Ohio Honda for Alliance. It is Bugara and Bugara. Hawkins, Dats, Butt. Gales, Thompson, Curry, Reith, and then Davis and Alexander in the backfield. Alexander joined by Davis. Handoff goes to Davis on first down, and Davis immediately with some Good speed step. and towards the sideline and a decent return on first down. On that one, uh, Alliance was two tight ends and two wide flankers. And they... Sh Shavers, Cordes, Guizar, Stauffer, and Ward. And then Crayley, Fricky, Holcomb, the linebackers, Martin, Blackman, and Birch in your defensive back. Same thing. Alexander keeps this time, and Alexander with a very nice little pickup there of about five yards. Brings up a second down. Again, the same formation, John. Two tight ends, two wings, and the wing goes in motion to give an awful lot of strength over to that left-hand side of the offense for uh, Alliance. So Alexander here with a second and pretty manageable, about second and five. And that's Davis on the handoff, and Caden Davis is off and running. A man to beat, and Davis is gone. Touchdown for Alliance. A beautiful score on a second and five. A 52-yard touchdown by Caden Davis. His third rushing touchdown of the year, Elmer. This was a beauty. This was just a, a trap up inside. It was interesting. They gave you the same formation three times and the same guy going in motion. They ran the halfback wide. They ran the quarterback on an off tackle. And then they just ran a, a guard trap up, up, up the middle and he broke it. And Canton South just jumped off sides. Kick here on the way for Alliance. Wonder what's up. They're still going to kick. It would appear that way.
So extra point coming up yep. here. Brendan Zerbrug will kick this one. That was a really nice run. Yeah. It was a good series. Three plays. Zerbrug kicks it and kick no is good. no good. By our count, that's his first miss of the year. On an extra point. I hope we didn't come in and jinx him. I would sure hope not. I would certainly hope not. He didn't get a whole lot of leg into that he one. He did not. No, it was kind of a, maybe he was told if he loses it, kicks it over the fence, <laughs> he'd have to pay for one, so. Now that's the son of uh, Chris Zerbrug, who was the quarterback at Michigan. Yes, and his dad played for Lions, and I coached against his dad. His dad was a great, great football player. Was he? Yeah. I mean, he was a starting quarterback for Michigan, so it can't be too bad. Oh, no, he had to be good. <laughs> can't You can't play for Michigan and be a bad player. Well, well, you can, but you, it's, yeah, it's hard to do. It's hard to do. Especially starting at quarterback. Even a blind squirrel finds a nut once hey, in a while, you know. Hey. That does happen. <laughs> so we're a drive through, and Alliance has the lead. We'll get a look now at Canton South for the first time offensively get an idea of what they're like they're three and zero, and they came into the year coming off of what was by all accounts a pretty tough season last year they had a losing record last year and they came into the year with a battle at quarterback between gavin moses the junior and jack snyder they call him poochie the freshman and poochie ended up winning the job he's the younger brother of the quarterback from a few years ago silas zerbrug will kick it deep here for alliance the big thing is, how will Canton South respond to that quick score? Kick on the way. Well, they're both, they're both place kickers here. And it's a short kick and a decent return well, on the kick here. And good starting field position on the return was Tavon Castle, who returned it there. I know that he's going to do some bright things in the future here at Canton South. Coach Lake happy about that one. I know we'll get to that scoring drive here momentarily. First down though for South. They have it at their own 38. Kickoff, by the way, was brought to you by Spectrum Orthopedics. And on first down, a quick throw by Snyder and it's just a bit wide of Shamar Blackman, just a bit out of his reach. Shamar plays on the outside there as a wide receiver, also the dynamic kick returner. Okay. okay, on that scoring drive, it only took 58 seconds. Okay, it was three plays, a total of 68 yards, and it was finalized by a 52-yard run by Caden Davis and the extra point was no good. It's six nothing, Alliance over Canton South. And that scoring drive brought to you by Sarda. Handoff here on second down and a nice carry for the Canton South tailback. Now on that run, that was Cole Birch. Now this is something that we'll get about, we'll get into the game and, and discuss Elmer, mm -hmm. but the offense first. Martin, Birch, Blackman, your wide receivers. Treacher, Dugan, Knoll. Cordis, Stauffer, your line, and then Shavers, Holcomb, and Snyder in the backfield. What I was going to say is that we know that Coach Reed told us they have five different offensive families yes. that they can use that are like different looks, different window dressing to eventually create holes. Because here's something different. Now he's under center. Handoff goes again to Birch on the third down, and Birch oh. gonna come up short, but the ball was loose. Oh, he got her. Got it back, and South might be pressed to punt here early on. Defense for Alliance, Reith, Curry, and Dats, the defensive line, Roseboro, Greer, Berlin, and Hart, so the linebackers, Bugara, Zerbrug, Alexander, and Bugara, your defensive backfield. They're going to go for it, it appears, on fourth down unless they work for the hard count here. Four wide receivers on the field with him. Yeah. They got trips right. 
Martin bottom of your screen, and they are in fact going to go for it. Quick toss to the outside. That's Shamar Blackman. Blackman yeah, has to go it. forward. I don't know that he got there. And they're going to give it to him. Ooh. They're going to give him the spot on the far side of the field. That sure mm. was close. Here's a look at it, Elmer. Uh. I don't know about this. I don't know about that at all. Uh -uh. I don't know how that guy could call that. I am not sure about that. By our camera view, which nice job by the image video crew, that looked pretty good in the favor of Alliance there. Well, that would have been a big turn. Hand off again is to Birch here on first Ooh. down, and Birch is just eaten up. Alliance just pounds him backwards there. And no space to go. It's an Alliance defensive front that is pretty big up front with Dats being 240, the defensive end, Rico Curry being 285, the D tackle. Boy, they created some disruption there, Elmer. They're just driving uh, Canton South's offensive line backwards. And that was Rico That's not Curry. Good. It's supposed to be the opposite way. I know, I know. <laughs> well, and that was something that Coach Whiting said is he thought that South had a big line and, you know, just a little bit more up front for Alliance at this point. Quick throw, and that's Shamar Blackman again. Now, if you remember last year, Elmer, Shamar Blackman had a huge game against Alliance. He returned a kick early in the game to put South ahead, and then later in the game almost returned a second kick back. So um, he's a very dynamic football player with the ball in his hands. Well, he seems to be the guy they're, they're going to. It would appear that way. I'm, I'm waiting for yeah. them to give the ball to Trent Shavers. He's you, not even in there. He hasn't been in there yet. At he hasn't. Back. Nope. And he had such a great week last yeah. week with four scores. Maybe they're saving him. Could be. Secret weapon. It could be. Could be. Birch, Blackman, Lott. The receiver's at the bottom of your screen. Blackman up top. Pucci rolls out, does the young freshman Snyder. He dropped the ball and then fell back on it. That simply looked like a play where he was looking downfield far too much and didn't really concentrate on what he was actually trying to do. Are they going to go for it again, though? Doesn't appear this time that they will. He's a freshman. <laughs> he is. And he looked like a freshman there. He's going to have those moments. Uh, yeah. He really is. So kicking it deep here is Hunter Holcomb. He has not had a great average kicking the ball this year. Gugera back deep for Alliance. Dylan. Whoa. Two brothers snap over the head. This is trouble. Holcomb going to try to get it off and somehow does. And this is a great effort. This is a fantastic oh, effort. This is just absolutely fantastic on his part. <laughs> A little bit of dumb luck there for Hunter Holcomb, but hey, it paid off. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back and bring you the next drive. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nick Langenfeld, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union. Whether you visit our main office in Erie Street South, our downtown Maslin location on Federal Avenue, or our Canton office on Whipple Avenue in the Acme Fresh Market store. Our friendly staff is committed to serving all your financial needs. Now more than ever, it's time to bring a friend into the family. Now is new. Altman Immediate Care is now Altman Now Urgent Care. Walk in, get care, and go home. The average turnaround time is less than an hour. Now is new. When your doctor's office is closed and you don't need the ER, choose Altman Now Urgent Care Center. Altman Healthcare providers treat minor injuries and illnesses, such as flu and fever, sprains and strains, upper respiratory infections, and sore throat. Now is new. Now open at Washington Square from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. The new Altman Now Urgent Care. Now is new. The ride to work you've been waiting for is here. Sarda's Success Express service to the North Canton Industrial Park. Just hop on the Success Express at the Cornerstone or Belden Village Transit Center. And we'll get you to work on time. At Cintas. The Hilton Garden Inn. Fannie Mae. Or Special Pack. Even if you start as early as 6 a.m. Visit SardaOnline.com to learn more about the new, fast, affordable way to get to work in the North Canton Industrial Park. Sarda's Success Express. We're going to work today. 
Need a ride? And we return back in here. First down for Alliance. And keeping is Brandon Alexander, the quarterback. And Alexander is pushed backwards. Alexander leads the team in like just about every statistical category, by the way. Even defensively, he's one of their top-notch players. It's not a lot of running yeah. room there, Elmer. No. Well, he should have left the tackle. He was the head of the tackle who was pulling the trap for me. He probably ran that a little bit too quick. He probably should have delayed that just a little bit more. So second down play here. As the sun finally goes down a little bit across the way. And Alexander rolls out this time. Alexander wants to throw, wants to go downfield. Yeah. Nice throw. That's Andrew Datz, the tight end. Just his third catch of the year and more than enough for the first down near the 40 yard line. He just extended the play, Elmer. That one. That's a great pass. Threw across his body, and but he got his shoulders around. He did? And he, and he kept his feet moving. He did. <laughs> yes, I know he did. you're big on that. <laughs> okay, it's first and 10. Caden Davis joins him in the backfield now. Caden, who took it to the house on that first possession, gets the ball again here and makes a nice run out to the right side. And I can't tell if that's a flag that's down there or if it's just something on the field at this point. Looks like there was a flag down there, but I don't know that it's much of anything. No. No, it was the beanbag. The beanbag, <laughs> the beanbag confused me. It did. Yes. With the sun in your eye, I could see that between orange and yellow. I'm not. I'm not I can you. understand that. I will never get used to the beanbag. <laughs> Second down here and keeping is Alexander. Alexander, Picked he's just so big. Four. Yeah. 6'3", 220, headed to YSU at the next level. Going to play at Youngstown State. Place that obviously would be a good spot for him. He's also um, got 10 to 12 other offers. He's decided on Youngstown State at this point, but when we talked to Coach Whiting in his sixth year, he said that there are other schools that they're hoping that are bigger Division I schools like Indiana and Syracuse that might offer him. So third down here, third and short. Can South stand tall here? Running is Alexander, just too much push up front. And Alexander uh -oh. has the sideline and Shamar Blackman eventually runs him out. That was trouble. Your thoughts early on, Elmer. They just have a good game plan. And, and like, you know, they're only have run a couple different plays. They, they're they running the, the sweep. They're running the quarterback sweep. They're running the trap. And I only have them throwing about one or two times here. Just one time? One time. Seth said he was going to try to get the run the ball and control the clock. He said that's what they still want to do. They yes, still want to be a power run team. And they're, they're running two tight ends, and they're bringing that guy over, and there goes that trap play. Oh, not as good this time. <laughs> yeah, Caden Davis that time stopped. Now, Caden Davis has it in the bloodlines. Kendall Davis, oh. if you remember, yes, kid I that went to Michigan State, he was uh, a cousin of Caden's, and Kayvon, actually, Caden's younger brother is on this team as well, and Kayvon is actually bigger than Caden, despite Caden being a year mm -hmm. older. You know, you do this long enough, and you remember their grandparents when they played. <laughs> you know? It's wild how that works, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I said, that's when I was going to retire from teaching. When I, <laughs> They said, hey, you taught my grandfather in class. You didn't get out soon enough, I guess. <laughs> Third, second down here. Well, he Hand got off the again to Davis. Davis trying he to get around the edge and brought down there in the open field. Pretty nice tackle by Cole Birch on the stop there, the senior. Third down and five here. They're in four down territory, John. Birch, one of the uh, defensive backs, one of four for Canton South that sees a good amount of time. Has 21 tackles on the year. 
Comes his 22nd there. Okay. So third, third down five. here. Think they're going to pass here, Elmer? Yes, I do. You do? Yes, I do. Hawkins, bottom of your screen. Eight. Option. And Alexander is going to run it all himself and pick up the first down. But they may run it. <laughs> they may run it. They may run it. You see, you know, you, you did yeah. some, hey, as we were saying before, a flip-flop. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Hey. I think I think I think the sun is good now. By the way, no, it isn't. It's right. It's oh, it's still right in your yeah, eyes. Yeah, it's not in my eyes anymore. I might be taller. One more minute, says Bob. Option again. Well. Toss to Davis. Davis tackled late, out of bounds, and I don't know. Are they just going to rule that 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 was just progress that couldn't Man. have been stopped? I'm not sure. <laughs> I guess. I mean, but this was well after the play was, well, no, they were falling. They were falling. That was Ethan Fricky, the linebacker, the freshman, actually, Ethan Fricky. Got some young kids out there, Elmer. Seth said he was going to play some freshmen. So did, uh, so did Reed. Fricky is, is for South. Davis here. Oh, just and one Davis is pushed oh. back. Nice play there off of the defensive line for South Locking. and a block below the waist. Let's see and that. Ethan Fricky on the stop, I believe it was. Uh, he, he cut him. Freshman linebacker. It used to be you could cut him if he was inside the tackle box. You could do that? Yeah, you used to. So it'll back him up. Trent Shavers, by the way, just for those wondering tonight, wearing number nine on the field. Normally would wear number one. It's still second down. All right, now it's second in what, 17? 18? I think they're going to say it's 18. Yeah. Now will they throw it? They may now. Nah. Rolling out. Oh, they are going to throw it. Man is streaking downfield. Oh, keep and it's running. over his head. Keep running. O.V. Jones was wide open. And he stopped running. He stopped running. He stopped running. running. That was almost a perfect ball. Probably would have been if he had kept running, right, Yes. Homer? Is that what used to give you gray hairs? What? <laughs> Stuff like that. Yeah. Hey, when you're working with 15 to 18 year old kids, a lot of things give you gray hairs. So third and long now. Third and almost 18. Alexander wants to throw, keeps the feet moving, looking downfield, and he goes down. Ethan Fricky, the freshman, the linebacker at 5'10, comes in and blows the play up. That kid's a freshman, Elmer. Yep. They, uh, he had to get rid of it here. But he's pretty much to the line of scrimmage here, so. <sighs> Might they go for it here? Boy. Yes, they are. Or are they gonna quick kick it here? Well, they might. Are they gonna kick it here? Man in motion. And Alexander does want to throw. It's a screen. That's Dats. Andrew Dats. Dats! There's a flag. He was going to be close to getting that first down, but uh, came up about four or five yards short. Flags are down. Good call. Good call by the Lions coaching staff. There's another penalty. And, of course, South will decline it because it was fourth down. Or do they want to try to get better field position? Holding it against the Lions, so South will get the ball back. Feels like South kind of survived one there, Elmer. Yeah. That was a 
13 play drive and it comes up empty no, handed. Nothing. Yep. That that's pass. A, that's at that mistakes that Coach yeah. Whiting talked about. No, it is. He said that that was a big thing yep. for them against West Branch. They had multiple opportunities in the red zone. They've actually come away seven times in the red zone this year without points. That's too many times. Yeah. And that leads to two three point losses. You know, they, they could have been up here, what, 13 nothing? They could have. Still in the first quarter. Would have been devastating for South. Let's see what South can do here. That's Holcomb on first down, and Hunter with a pretty uh, small gain here, small if anything gain. at all. And here comes Trent Shavers now, young man who had four touchdowns last week in their win over Minerva. But he was pretty much the man, and we'll see if he gets the ball here in some capacity. Had 120 yards last week, four scores. Also was a menace defensively. There he is. He was our player of the week at WHBC. Quick throw here by Pucci Snyder and complete to Shamar Blackman and Blackman with a decent Picked gain. About 40 yards, so. Pickup of oh, enough yardage mm -hmm. to make it third and manageable. And that is the end of the first quarter. We're through one. And so far, it's Alliance ahead. Six to nothing. Back with the second quarter after this. There is something special about our community. It's a feeling, a spirit. And you can sense it and see it in everyone who lives and works here. Everyone in our community matters. You matter. It's a simple concept. Yet its message carries a great impact which we all need to hear. Every conversation, each pay it forward message can have an incredible impact on someone else's life. It can start with just two simple words. You matter. You matter. You matter. What moves you? The challenge? The game? The victory? At Spectrum Orthopedics, what moves you moves us to provide the highest level of orthopedic care. Our sports medicine specialists offer options beyond the expected to help you leave pain in the past. Our customized treatment plans, convenient orthopedic urgent care, on-site surgical center, and physical therapy services will get you moving again, and maybe even better than before. You have one life to live. Let's get you back to living it. And we return back here to Alliance, Mountain Union Stadium. First quarter total yards. How about that, Elmer? Wow. Okay, total yards in the first quarter. Canton South, 19. Alliance, 141. 109 on the ground. That's, that's pretty one-sided. That's a dominating first half, to say the least. And of course, Alliance has the advantage on the scoreboard, but Alliance is only up 6 nothing. They are. They are. They could be up 13 nothing. We talked about that. 13-play yeah. drive that goes scoreless. And on third down, Snyder and, wants oh, to they throw. They got something going Screen here. Screen set up. That's Birch, and Birch picks up enough for the first down. Uh -huh. Does he? I believe he does. No, actually, they said that he only picked up four, so he comes up a yard short. Oh, with fourth down? Thought he picked up enough to get to the marker there, and... It's fourth he down. stepped out just shy of it. Oh, are they going for it? I don't know. Yes. This would be great field position to give Alliance. Oh, baby. <laughs> Lot on the line here. Baby, baby, baby. There's a look at Poochie Snyder. Jack is his name, but Poochie is what he goes by. We pressed Coach Reed in his fourth year for an answer as to why he's Poochie. And, well, he didn't, quite frankly, have one. I wonder if he has a girlfriend named Smoochie. Poochie and Smoochie. Smoochie. Could be. That would be unique, wouldn't it? Could very, or a dog. Yeah, could very, could, a cat. Okay. Could a be question. anything. You could call anything Smoochie. Hey, a parrot maybe. 
Smoochie the Parrot. Yeah. Sounds like a bad band from the 70s. <laughs> Reminder, after the game, we'll have our player of the game brought to you by Altman. Could it be Poochie? Maybe Poochie and Smoochie. Could Poochie, it be? I'll tell you what. If anything, if there's a girl out there named Smoochie, look up Poochie. Because then you got then you then got the you have the poochie smoochie, <laughs> the the or deadly the, combo, or the smoochie poochie, whatever way you want to put that. Again, player of the game after the game <laughs> brought to you by Altman Hospital. We will name that. All right, so fourth down here. Do they go? Appears as though they're keeping the offense on the field. Oh, wow, I believe. Might they be doing a direct snap here though? Why is this guy back here? Two Trent Shavers. Why is he back here? Maybe a quick kick. Maybe they're anticipating it. That's Shavers that's in there at quarterback. And Shavers is going to run the whole way, and Shavers picks up the first down. That must be one of those five families of offense. Uh, basically fourth down, and you give the ball to the guy that's 6'3 and 220 and say, take care of business. Uh, yeah. I'll tell you what, that's a gutty call. Because if they don't get that. Oh, that's fantastic yeah. field position. If South could get a drive here and score. It would do a lot for their confidence. Because sure. we we talked to Coach Reed about how you don't make this game bigger than what it is. Because the last couple of years, you know, Alliance has handed the lunch to South. You know, they've been pretty dominant in this game. They're outnumbered here. Back to throw is Snyder. Snyder still looking downfield, keeping his legs moving and his well, eyes downfield and throws it low of Birch. For a freshman, he looked good there. Yeah. Extended the play yeah. nicely. Here's a look at it. It would have been a great catch. It was hard him rolling yeah. out, trying to get enough on that ball. Yeah. Well, now they go power eye here. Hand off to the up man, and that is Holcomb, and Hunter Holcomb with a nice carry. They just... <laughs> wonder what family that was. I don't know, but these, these formations, you know, I, I've often wondered this, Elmer, and, and Coach Reed told us that a lot of it is window dressing sure. for the same plays. I mean, does that sometimes affect a team to have so many formations, or can that be helpful? Oh, sure. Does it, it sure does. Because you're running the same plays, but kids are running from different positions. And it, it's sometimes tough on kids. So toss here to Shavers, and Shavers Whoa. just using that big 6-3 frame to get some extra yardage. They'll give him forward progress for the first down. I think he got there on the initial spot. Pretty sure. Yeah, because that would be yeah. about the spot. Yep. We'll see. They gave him the push. The nudge. <laughs> the pooch. <laughs> you don't want to screw the pooch. <laughs> pooch. Isn't that, isn't, that a, isn't that a phrase? I, I don't know. I've never heard but that. Don't people say that? Screw, yeah. yeah you I'm, don't I'm, from, I'm from Pittsburgh. We never oh, use that kind oh, of Oh, I'm sorry. You, but you know what jimmies are, don't yeah. you? Jimmies? Sprinkles, right? Oh, yeah. Hand Whoa. off again here to Shavers, and that was Boy. all contact back and forth, and Shavers just bounced off of it. Should've. What position did his dad play? Defensive end, if I remember correctly. I'm and not sure offensively what he did, but. And his dad was a big guy, wasn't he? Yeah, good sized kid. <laughs> he's not a kid anymore, is he? No, no, <laughs> no he's not. <laughs> Everyone's a kid to you now, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. <laughs> Bob's a kid, isn't he? Bob, <laughs> youngster. <laughs> Second down here for South. Snyder will go under center. Roll yes. out, looking downfield, still looking, still looking to throw, and simply throws it away. He doesn't force. No, he doesn't. He, uh, I mean, that was heads up. There's no question about that. I'm not sure how strong his arm is here. Yeah. You know, but he's a freshman. I mean, but ultimately, isn't that what you need? A guy that doesn't make mistakes, though? I mean, you want him to have an arm, but, you know. 
I mean, he has seven touchdowns to two interceptions this year. And he has a 70% completion percentage, and they're 3-0. and oh. So <laughs> whatever he's doing, keep up doing, keep doing it. It's Blackman in motion. And before the play, timeout taken by South. Almost three minutes into this second quarter here, Alliance still with a lead. They scored on a long touchdown run. Back with the next play after this. We're proud of our city, our teams, our community, and we are extremely proud to sell Hondas, some of the safest, most affordable cars in the industry built in the great state of Ohio. Enjoy great deals on the Honda CRV at your local Northern Ohio Honda dealer. Y'all know it's football season. Around these parts, football season is barbecue season. If you want to score big on game day, make Slow Smoked Old Carolina Barbecue your go-to spot before, during, and after all the games. No need to cook on Friday. Meet before the game at Old Carolina or grab a party pack and host the ultimate college or pro football party featuring award-winning ribs, tender pulled pork, and jumbo smoked wings. We have options for all your pigskin pig outs. Get more info at oldcarolina.com. Old Carolina Barbecue Company. Meet before the game. We're proud of our city, our teams, our community, and we are extremely proud to sell Hondas, some of the safest, most affordable cars in the industry built in the great state of Ohio. Enjoy great deals on the Honda CRV at your local Northern Ohio Honda dealer. Life's all about delivery, whether it's delivery of your favorite pizza, how you deliver a great punchline, like why does Snoop Dogg carry an umbrella? Bo Drizzle or how your credit union delivers excellent service every time. Well, yes, that's exactly what I need. At CSC Federal Credit Union, we do deliver the same great banking as the other guys. And the icing on the cupcake is we're not some out of town bank. We're local and in the Stark County community. Bank local at CSC. Wake up with Canton's morning news. Pam Cook reports all the news, traffic and weather you need to get your day started. News Talk 1480 WHBC. Online at whbc.com. And we return back in here to Alliance. Last time we were here at Alliance, Deuce Johnson had a record night of 461 yards and what, six scores I think it was? <laughs> And that was against Salem. They were just unbelievable that night. They scored 70 points to Alliance, part of their NBC championship at that point. Third down here, third and long for South out of the timeout. Pucci to throw. Goes right sideline and play is bobbled and not caught by Caleb Lott, the junior wideout. Did he settle too quickly on that guy? He's open, yeah. And you're hoping he breaks the tackle and gets you a first down. Sure. You know? They would have still had five more yards to go for a first down. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you can be hopeful, though. Yes. All right, now last time we saw a punt, it was a fiasco on the snap. And Holcomb somehow got it off. The snap isn't much better, and Holcomb bobbles it. It's free, and Holcomb simply falls on it. Wow. 